Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. And today we will be making General Chow's chicken from SkinnyTaste.com. I will put all the ingredients below as well as link the recipe. So first you're going to be needing one pound boneless skinless chicken breast and you're going to cut it into bite-sized pieces. Next, you're going to combine two tablespoons of soy sauce and three tablespoons of cornstarch and then an egg white. Mix this all together to combine and set it aside while you chop the vegetables. There's a lot of setting aside for this recipe, but it's worth it. So I'm obviously doing a voiceover and I just realized that the recipe does not call for onions. However, I put them in anyway. So here I am chopping up onions that are not in the recipe, but now they are. Next, I'm going to be cutting up two medium scallions, separating the white and greens. And you're going to set those aside. Next, I'm going to take one teaspoon of sesame oil and put it in a small sauce pot over medium heat. And also add in ginger. I didn't have ginger, so I just used ginger spice. And then you're going to add in garlic. I use pretty much minced garlic for everything. It's just so much easier. Next, you're supposed to add in the scallion whites, but I guess I didn't read the directions very well for this recipe. So you let that saute for one minute. Add one cup of reduced sodium chicken broth, two teaspoons of soy sauce. I was running low, so I just put whatever was left in the bottle. Um, one teaspoon of sriracha, and three tablespoons of hoisin. You're gonna whisk that to combine, add the remaining tablespoon of cornstarch and whisk sauce until it starts to thicken, which takes about two minutes. Once it's thick, you are gonna turn the heat to low and keep it warm while you make the chicken. To make the chicken, you heat a large skillet over medium heat and take a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Half the chicken pieces, cook the chicken until it's browned three to four minutes and flip the chicken over, cook another two to three minutes or until it's cooked through. Continue doing the batches until all the chicken is cooked. And in between the batches, I started the cauliflower rice. For the cauliflower rice, you will need a medium head of cauliflower or about 24 ounces. Remove the core, coarsely chop into florets and place half of the cauliflower in a food processor and pulse until the cauliflower is small and has the texture of like couscous and you don't want to over process it because it will get mushy. If your food processor is small like mine, you may have to do this in a few different batches. So you just continue processing the cauliflower until it's all finished. And then when it's done, you'll set it aside. Next, seasoning with salt. You're going to combine one egg and two egg whites in a bowl and beat with a fork. Set that aside. Next, using a half a small onion, you're going to finely dice it. This recipe actually does call for an onion, so we are good. Set the onions aside for later. Next, taking five scallions, dice them up and separate the whites and the greens. Next, we're going to measure out a half a cup of what is supposed to be frozen peas and carrots, but this is the medley I got, so I'm just going to use that instead. Taking a large saute pan, spray it with cooking oil. <gasps> Ignore my husband, as usual. Add the eggs and cook, turning them a few times until they are set and then set those aside. Next, take one tablespoon of sesame oil. Add in the scallion whites. And I added in the scallion greens, which you'll see me take out in a minute because again, can't read a recipe today. So also add in the onions that you already cut. And here I am taking out the greens. Add in the, in my case, the pea, carrot, and corn mix. And I, again, ran out of something. So I ran out of garlic, so I just used a little bit of garlic powder. Cauliflower rice to the saute pan, along with soy sauce. I didn't have any more soy sauce, so I used Worcestershire. Mix, cover, and cook approximately five to six minutes. Stir frequently until the cauliflower is slightly crispy on the outside, but tender on the Add the egg, then remove the pan from heat and mix in the scallion greens. I didn't show this part here. Once that's finished, just set it aside and let's get the chicken ready. So I just use the same pan. I put the chicken in the pan and then I put the sauce on top. And that was the sauce that we made with for the chicken. And you're just gonna mix everything around just to heat it up. This is what the cauliflower looks like once it's all done and everything's mixed in. That's what the chicken looks like. And then this is how I plated it. I just put the cauliflower on the bottom and the chicken on top and it was absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.